Welcome, welcome back and I need help at Cisco. In this example, we have a circle and we are asked to find the measure of angles X, Z, Y, which is this angle right here. And also we need to find X, which is part of this expression. So first of all, we're going to look to these angles X, Z, Y, which is this angle. As I said, if you notice this angle is what we call an inscribed angle. We notice the vertex of the angle is right here and the other two points that belongs to the sides of this angle uh, x and y are on this circle and an inscribed angle it's half of the measure of its intercept arc the intercept arc in our case is this arc which is a special type of arc why this one is a special type of arc because x y if you take a look is the diameter of this circle okay we notice these two endpoints around the circle and this cord goes through this center so this one is a diameter that means this arc you see here the one the red one it's half of 360 it's 180 degree so now we know the measure of the arc xy which is 180 degree the measure of angle x z y will be half of the measure of the arc x y so in our case will be 180 degrees divided by 2 and that will be 90 degree the measure of angles x z y is 90 degree so as a rule whenever you see a picture like this an inscribed angle and the other two endpoints of the angle uh, represent the endpoints of a diagonal this angle will be 90 degree always and now we can move to the next part where we need to find x Remember, this angle is 3x minus 15, and the measure of that angle is 90 degree. So I'm going to add 15 on both sides to solve for x. And I have 3x equals 105, and the last step divide by 3. And that will be 35. x is 35, the measure of the angle is 90 degree. If you enjoyed this little clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.